right, here we go. Uh, 50 yards with the uh, Hoyt Satori. I told you I had been shooting about 40 on a couple of them. We'll have it tried 50. This is as, as far as I've actually got to shoot. And uh, we're going to launch a broadhead arrow, actually a, a gold tip 500 on a 49 pound Hoyt Satori with carbon vellus limbs. Going to fire a couple of dead deer target down there. Uh, with a hay bale behind it at 50 yards. Alright, here we go. Dead in there as much as you can get. <laughs> I love it, man. Uh, you, you just can't beat these bows. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk this one down here just a little bit to show you. Uh, it, it's incredible what these bows do. You know, like I said, I've owned a lot of different bows, uh, a lot of custom bows, but there's to me just nothing that will shoot like this thing. There's there's nothing money can buy. And I'm not saying they're not out there. But for a factory bow that you can buy uh, and get into your hands on within three or four days time, quick setup, it shoots this good. Look here. I'm gonna walk you up to this thing. Now that's a 50 yard shot. 50 yards with it's not dead in there, but it's awful, awful close. Uh, there again at uh, 50 yards with a broadhead. Uh, and that's why I say you gotta tune the front of these arrows. You get your front and center weight just right. Uh, it'll shoot, this is, a, this is a Magnus head. I'm shooting on this one. We shoot lots of different heads and it doesn't matter what they are. They'll all fly wonderful. But uh, to show you, to kind of give you an, a, a little glimpse, I'm gonna turn it and show you all the way down there where we were shooting by that back gate is exact it's actually 51 yards uh we we've actually shot it with a rangefinder but it's a long shot with the trad bow regardless and uh and it's just not hard with these kinds of bows and i've never been able to do that with any other traditional bow that i've ever owned maybe 25 yards 30 pushing it but no way can you hit 40 and 50 yards bare bow three under true instinct no gapping i do not gap shoot uh i don't even what i would call split vision uh which is even referencing the air in any kind of way i'm strictly focusing on what i want to hit gluing my eyes to it and muscle memory takes over and i make the shot and it happens but it's a lot easier with these bows than other bows so i uh, i'll just tell you if you're an instinctive shooter or a gapper and it makes no difference this bow would probably be super easy to gap shoot with. I'm sure it would. I, I just haven't tried it. Uh, but I'm very happy shooting the way I do because I'm a hunter. I like to be able to shoot a deer. If all I can see is a silhouette, I want to be able to kill it. Uh, so I uh, hope you've enjoyed these. Uh, maybe it'll be a little bit of help to you. Uh, thank you.